Yo, what's up guys, it's Kizzle here, and in this video, I got you guys two juicy intel regarding the next track title, which for now, we're gonna call Call of Duty Black Ops 4, and it's huge. I mean, there's one thing that I wanna talk about later on, I haven't seen anyone talk about it, and let's just get right into it. If my voice is bad, I basically caught cold, and I cannot do anything about it. I wanna make some videos for you guys, right? So, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe if you love Call of Duty Zombies, but first things first, we have a day one heart tweet now he tweeted a couple of days ago and I didn't think much until this point now I recently watched one of my boys sawtooth video a huge shout out to him I'm not sure if he found this out on his own or not but he was definitely someone that actually pointed this at my direction first of all David one heart tweeted this out on December 8 around 5 35 p.m. not sure if this was like East Coast or Eastern time or Pacific time but he actually said at Treyarch company of site meeting and we rolled out with three full size buses and many folks went independently 74 designers in the studio asked what I do I like to say switchboard operator who designs or plays connect the dots all day now check this out look at the pictures now I'm not sure about the dots here he wasn't sure either I don't know what's happening with this picture if anyone can let me know what's happening if you have a theory of your own definitely let me know in the comments I may make a video about it and I may shout you out as well but check this first picture out now in this picture we see four guys and it's black and white now this is exactly what Sawtooth said in his video and it made a lot of sense to me and that's why I'm kind of like reporting this and I have another thing that I will get into in just a little bit but black and white and four people black ops four now I know this sounds strange some of you may be like okay Skizzle come on now now you just memeing no I'm not memeing I I'm sick and I'm still making this video because this is huge and there's another thing like I said but I want you guys to comment right now let me know what you guys think I definitely think that he's on to something here and uh, we're talking about David freaking one heart and Jason Blundell of course this wasn't tweeted by Jason Blundell but this is tweeted by David one heart you know what I'm saying so this is huge and hey a similar thing happened back in 2015 prior to the launch of Black Ops 3 you guys remember I'm gonna play a little bit of a clip while I actually do my commentary and there was a similar snapchat this time of course David actually tweeted out over on Twitter but back in 2015 on April 7th at 9 p.m. Eastern time we saw the first ever teaser for Black Ops 3 and guess what we saw? We saw a shadow of the trees saying number 3 or basically the shadow had 3 a aka Black Ops 3. So that was huge. Everyone was like okay so they confirmed Black Ops 3 but this time this is on a whole new level. We see four guys playing or just looking at something, testing something out, maybe graphic designing their next game or something. I mean something is happening, right? So. That kind of tells me that they are talking about Black Ops 4 and on top there is a new update in Black Ops 3 no one has found anything about it yet people are assuming we're gonna have the new weapons coming to Call of Duty Black Ops 3 because the patch is about one gigabytes and every time that happened we had new guns and stuff like that so we don't know as of now but if there's something about that I'll keep you guys informed on my channel I'm just waiting on that but the second thing I want to talk about is a big one because I actually got stuck. I didn't want to cover this on the channel, but my man Sawtooth found the first thing out. I was like, okay, so I'm gonna make a video about it. So let me actually just mention this in my video as well. And let's check it out. What, what do you guys think and everything like that? Now, Mado is a custom created map by James, aka Cornrow Wallace over on Twitter. He made this map and he made this map on March 6th and he updated to a 2.0 version back on July 7, 2017 according to his tweet and everything like that. Now the biggest thing about Meadow is it's an open world forest map and it reminds me of the loading screen from Black Ops 3 except it is playable in daytime but check this out the 2.0 version that he got recently on uh, July 7th I mean it's not recently but he got that shit on on the Steam Workshop and I saw Lagging 24x playing this map and I actually just watched a little bit of the beginning and I watched a little bit of the ending and I saw him complete the Easter egg I believe I believe that's what he was doing but the point is I saw him playing this map when it was dark so that realistically reminded me of the Black Ops 3 
forest loading screen, except now it is playable in this custom map under Black Ops 3. That's my first point. Now, in this map, there aren't any Bible doors. It's an open world map. You collect items. For example, there are guns, not on the walls, but they are just scattered around the map that you go around, look for, you purchase them, similar to what do you do in Fortnite Battle Royale or whatever, or I, I mean, I can just say Battle Royale in general. So it's similar to that. And uh, we have recently found out that Battle Royale mode has been or it's being tested in Call of Duty Online. And a lot of people are assuming that we're going to have a Battle Royale mode in Call of Duty 2018, aka Black Ops 4, aka the next track title. And there are other rumors, other leaks that I'm not going to get into. But basically, rumors are coming in that in Call of Duty 2019 that will be made by Infinity War. They will be really, really on that Battle Royale mode because around that time, we're going to have a Battle Anger with battle royale stuff in Call of Duty, but hey, let's not get off track. My point here is that this Metal Zombies map was created by a Treyarch employee whose name is James Corner Wallace, that's his ad over on Twitter. And yes, he's a Treyarch employee who made this custom map back on March 6, 2017, and he updated uh, to a 2.0 version later on as well. Now, the thing is, I don't know why he made a custom map. Of course, maybe he was like, okay, well, I got nothing else to do. Uh, so let's just make a custom map, which was absolutely amazing. I appreciate the heck out of him for actually making that map for sure. But he updated that later on. And we know that DLC 5 happened around that time. You know what I'm saying? And March 6 is exactly when DLC 5 information was coming out. I was banging out videos. Everyone was dancing and everything like that. It was like uh, one of those times where everyone was hype. And July 7th, that's exactly when we already had DLC 5. I'm not sure when DLC 5 released, but I feel like it released on May 27th or something like that. And a little bit after he updated the map. Now, why I'm actually talking about this is because I personally had this idea popped up in my head just recently, like a day or two ago, and I hesitated quite a bit. I was thinking, what if the Treyarch employee was just trying to come up with something new to see if people like it or not, because maybe just maybe that's the direction they want to go. Maybe in Call of Duty Black Ops 4 or whatever the next track title will be called, maybe they want to have a map that is open world similar to Battle Royale. It's going to be a huge map that you go around. It's open world. There are no doors that you need to buy. Maybe they will have different versions because in the past we have seen with the transit that we had the grief mode, of course. Uh, hopefully we get that back too. But with grief or not with grief, but with transit we had different areas. Bus Depot, that was number one. Town was definitely the most popular one. I still love that for sure. But the thing is, Meadow is a custom app created by a track employee. It's open world, no Bible doors. You go around and you purchase guns and they are not on the wall. They are just scattered around the map. And it gives me the vibe of PUBG and Battle Royale. And that is something that they are actually testing in Call of Duty Online. So I'm not sure if you get my point here, but I'm personally thinking that in the next track title, they're gonna bang it and open world zombies map something that a lot of people wanted for a long ass time and uh, if that happens that would be great if they can actually create multiple versions or maybe if they can give us one open world map and other maps would be a little bit different where you can actually buy the doors similar to what we have always experienced in zombies right and we're talking about Jason Blundell who likes to always have new stuff he likes to try new stuff he even stated in one of his interview as well so let me know what you guys think Does does that make sense to you? I hesitated quite a bit, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and check out some other videos on the screen and I'll see you very freaking soon.